It's not that you're not gifted. It's not that you're not talented. The problem is you don't believe that you are gifted because you were born with your gift. You really are walking around here thinking that you're not a gifted individual because you don't glamorize and you don't celebrate the gift that you have. Some of y'all walking around here like, you weren't born with a gift, like you're not talented. I'm good at reading, that's not a gift. Yes, it is. I'm good at comprehension, that's not a gift. Yes, it is. I'm good at writing, that's not a gift. Yes, it is. Just like singing and dancing and playing a sport, being able to dunk or shoot threes. I'm trying to tell you, those are gifts that you have. The problem is you're not tapping in. So if you're really good at writing, I don't understand why you're not an author. I don't understand why you're not a poet. I don't understand why you're not out here really writing down your thoughts and uh, ideas and sharing it with the world. If you are a speaker, if you speak well, why are you not an orator, right? Why are you not out here conveying your message and, and empowering people, right? Sharing your message with the world. It's because you're not understanding that there is a gift inside you and you're not using it to your fullest potential. If you can just tap into your gift, if you can just start using your gift and moving in purpose, I promise you, your opportunity is coming. The breakthrough is coming. Everything that you desire in this world, I'm talking about anything that you have dreamed or schemed or thought about, these dreams and aspirations about, you can have it, but you got to tap in to whatever your gift is in order for your breakthrough to come because nobody's going to value your gift over you. I had to value my gift as an orator before anyone else would. I had to say that I'm going to be the one to use my gift to speak life into other individuals before anybody else would pay me a dollar for it before I could possibly go full time with it, before I could start breaking generational curses, before I should start doing these things saying like I can help other individuals, like I had to say to myself first that I am gifted. The voice that, that I was given, this gift that I have, you know, I'm supposed to share it with the world. It's not something I'm supposed to just keep for myself. I gotta share this with the world. So before anybody asked me to come speak, before anybody said that it's a good idea for me to speak or I could do this full time or whatever the case may be, listen, I had to say to myself that I could do it. I had to say that it was I was capable of doing it. But I can say that, that 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 was a part of my purpose to speak life into other individuals. That was me first. Me believing in my gift first. So for you, it's the same exact thing. You got to believe in your gift. Stop downplaying it. Use that gift because your breakthrough is on the other side of it. As soon as you tap into it and say, yo, this is my gift. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. This is how I'm supposed to be using it. This is how I can benefit others in life. Like this is how I can help the next person. I can solve a problem for people with my gift. Oh, the doors are going to be endless for you that open for you. The breakthrough is coming. It will be a disservice for you not to share your gift with the world. So listen, I'm going to help you guys today as far as getting your breakthrough. We're going to have four steps that we go through. The first one is perspective. The second one is facing adversity. The third one is rock bottom. And then the fourth one, which is our last one, is you are not average. Those who are not getting their breakthrough is because of the simple fact that your perspective is off. You had some experiences, you had some situations that you dealt with in your life. Maybe somebody came up short in that area or maybe you came up short in the area and instead of you doing the work to try again, you decided that you were going to quit and you was going to leave it right where it was at. It, that opportunity just wasn't for you. Like you didn't get that job that you wanted, right? You didn't make the team that you wanted. You didn't win the championship. You didn't get your raise. You didn't get the girl. You didn't get the guy, right? Whatever it was, your whole situation is off because of the fact that you have false expectations thinking that maybe somebody owes you something. Maybe you had this mindset of, of, of entitlement. Maybe you thought it was supposed to be, but it just wasn't. Maybe you even did things the right way. You did things the way you were supposed to and things just didn't work out your way. So now you think that the whole world works in that manner, that if you try again, you're only going to fail. And now you've allowed that to stop you from trying to attain more in life. You forgot that you are a human living amongst humans who are all having a human experience. When I figured that out, it blew my mind because listen to me, I was one of those people where I was like, man, these teachers, you know, they don't they don't really rock with me. So if you know my story, I spent 10 years in special ed classes and I was like, yo, they're not really trying to work with me. They're not trying to help me. And I started thinking about my life, my personal life. And I'm like, oh, man, yo, uh, these girls are acting crazy, they're acting funny toward me, whatever the case may be. Or I'm thinking to myself, oh, my mom, my dad, they acting this way or that way, not fully understanding that there are people in this world who are having different experiences. They have their own own forms of trauma and struggles that they're dealing with and you're not the only one. When you are dealing with your go through in life, your ups and downs, you want someone to give you grace. You want someone to give you mercy. You want someone to be there for you. You want someone to support you. You want somebody to provide you with some resources. You want somebody to provide you with some motivation. You want somebody to pick you up. But the problem is when you start looking at other individuals, like especially the ones that are closest to you, 
as if they're not humans dealing with human issues, just like you. What I need you to do is, is humanize everything that's going on around you. Humanize these situations because people are dealing with trauma, they're dealing with issues, they're dealing with pain and suffering, just like you are. You've got to recognize that there are other individuals in the world who are also struggling, who are also dealing with pain, and they're also trying to get their breakthrough. You gotta understand that your perspective is off because you have false expectations. And you have false expectations because you somewhere along the line forgot that you are a human living with humans who are all having a human experience. So extend all the grace and mercy that you would like for yourself unto others and watch how the breakthrough starts to happen for you. Watch how it starts to unfold. Two is I need you, right, to face your adversity. Here's why, it's not going nowhere. It's not going nowhere, I promise you. If you don't face your adversity, it'll be right there for you no matter where you go, no matter what you're doing. And here's one thing I really don't want to happen for you. I don't want you to be one of those people where you actually start to attain some success. You start to become successful and start moving in purpose, start doing some things. And because you did not deal with the adversity that you had hiding in your closet, it, it rears its ugly head at the worst possible time and tears down everything that you built. So what I need you to do is run toward the adversity. Most people run away from it, right? You, th you look at firefighters, right? You look at policemen, you look at the military, you look at those individuals where when things are going wrong, right? When, when the, the world is in complete chaos, right? They are the individuals, they run to the problem. They run to the adversity because they know in their mind that they are equipped to deal with that process. So when there is chaos going on in your life and there's adversity all around you, you are the only one that is equipped to deal with that situation. So what I need you to do is run toward the problem, run toward the adversity, right? So that you can put out the fire in your life, right? Get rid of all that chaos that you're dealing with because literally you are the only one that can deal with it. You're the only one that can bring an end to it. And if you don't deal with it, right? If you don't face that adversity, it's just gonna trickle down to the other other people that are around you, the people that you love, your wife, your kids, your husband, right? Your aunts, your uncles, your grandma, your grandpa, like your grandchildren, whoever it might be that are closest to you, your friends, your family, your community, it can trickle down to those individuals. And I promise you that probably had to be one of the worst feelings in the world. When there's a situation that you could have dealt with, right? There's generational traumas, generational curses that you could have dealt with, that you could have stopped, that you could have put an end to, but you didn't because you did not want to run toward the adversity and be the one to put an end to it. So now it trickles down to the other people in your family and now you gotta watch them suffer because they might not be equipped to do it, but you are because you know that there's an issue. You know there's a problem at hand, but you're not taking advantage of the opportunity to, to actually get rid of that thing, to put an end to that thing. The third one that we're about to go into right now is rock bottom. What is rock bottom? Listen, rock bottom is when you know that you've gotten to the point where things have gotten completely out of control. I don't want you to wait to the point where rock bottom hits you. I want you to actually look at the examples that have happened with other people's lives and say, I don't wanna to have to actually experience that. I wanna take control right now. I don't want you to have to wait till your wife serves you the divorce papers. I don't want you to wait to the point where your, your kid tells you that they don't wanna be in your life no more. I don't want you to get to the point where your boss has to tell you that you're fired. I don't want you to have to wait till it gets out of control, right? I want you to have full control over the things that you have control over. I don't want you to have to hit rock bottom, but some of you are gonna have to. It just is what it is. So if that is yours and you got to hit rock bottom in order for you to actually pull yourself up by your bootstraps and say, whatever it's going to take for me to get there, whatever it's going to take for me to be successful, whatever it's going to take for me to change the generations that have become before me and, and that are going to come after me, the legacy I plan to leave behind, like whatever it takes in order for me to make this thing happen, make this thing work, in order for me to be the man, woman that you're supposed to be, if it takes me hitting rock bottom, then come on with it. So I know for a fact that when I get back on my feet, when I get moving in the right direction, I got the momentum. And if you take it from me, if you take everything that I have, my money, my cars, my clothes, you take everything that I have from me, that's fine. It's perfectly fine with me. Why? Because I've been in the rock bottom and I know what it feels like. I know what it feels like to be there. So if you take everything from me, I know how to get it back. You are not average. Oh man. Come Come on, listen, I'm trying to get y'all to understand. Some of y'all, y'all walking around here like y'all not gifted. 
I've been there. Like, I know how it feels to feel like you're a jack of all trades and a master of none. You know, I can sing, I can dance, I can do a bunch of different things. And I, I was good at a couple of different things, but maybe even average at a couple of different things. But I never felt like I was special. I never felt like there was something special about me. But I'm here to tell you today that there absolutely is. There absolutely is something special about you. There's opportunities out there for you. There's money out there for you that's attached to your gift, but you are the one that has to use it. And someone told me a long time ago, they said, Brad, man, if you don't use your gift, man, somebody gonna die and it's your fault. And it didn't mean that I was gonna actually physically harm somebody, but what they meant was, Brad, their dreams are gonna die. Because what's gonna happen is, you're not gonna be around to tell your story, give your testimony, and show people what you're capable of doing and how they can make it through it. And it's gonna unlock something for somebody else. And if you don't move in purpose like that, then their dreams are gonna die. Their dreams are gonna die, bro, and that's your fault.